Cause I be running into bro now all the time, right? And you know, me and you don't work before. It's always an honor to work with you, but to work with bro now, get on a song with Do or Die, it was just like, oh yeah. I'm like, yeah, this this nigga don't even know he just made my dream come true. Like this is it. <laughs> I'll tell you how it happened, right? So my son, uh, he did the beat. Like I said, this all his first 17 beats. That's crazy. Sendo. This all his first music. And he made that one, and I heard do a die on it. b -Lo was like, man, we rocking with you so hard. He was like, hey, we'll throw you a real Pope Pimp track for 50% off. Kids, you not. It was such a deal what he threw it to me for. I couldn't leave it there. So I was like, bro, if I take this song, you got to promise me I can use it as a, as a hidden track right. on, the, on the final version. And they cool. So I started writing my verse to it. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, what? I said, what this song look like being about Pope Pimpin' and Max Julian ain't on it. Like, I'm like, I'm tripping. I was like, I'm tripping. And allegedly, we beefing uh, whatever at odds at that time, anybody. So if you ask them an MF, but I'm like, no, it's still bigger than the music. We still holding it down for the West Side. We still got to do it. So just to let you know, I respect your craft so much. I was able to still sit whatever we may have to the side and be like, no, nah, you deserve this opportunity right here. Because I knew what we was doing I mean, with the album. You feel? That's super commendable because thing. a lot of, I still to this day don't know what the fuck was going on, but for you to be able to put that aside, like I say, don't make, don't make, you know, permanent decisions or temporary emotions or whatever the hell. Uh, that, but that was right there. Back to so, Jesus. Solution on that one, Lovo. Say that. 